Good morning, this is Chris Buss with Traders Profit Compass. It's Friday, July 23rd at 9 a.m. I want to do a quick review of the uh, spider sector ETFs as we close the week. I think there may be some uh, uh, nice trades on the horizon given we've got mega cap tech uh, all reporting next week and we've got uh, uh, some some close actionable levels on the uh, cyclical sector. So let's take a quick look at it. Here's XLB, the materials. Uh, we were riding high, we took a leg down. We undercut these lows and we've recovered it. Um, if the cyclicals are gonna get going, and this is you know, materials, commodity chemicals, specialty chemicals, fertilizer companies, copper, aluminum, concrete, all that stuff. Um, what's going to have to happen is for my money, uh, I'm of the position of I'm going to give up trying to capture this uh, couple dollars here in this trading range. Um, I've set an alarm here at 82.75 which is just above the 50 day. So I want to make price prove it here. Uh, let it come up, let it thrash around, let it fail, let it do whatever it's going to do. But I don't want to get long until price is proven. It could take out the 50. Then I think we got something cooking. Uh, get long against 82.75 and then look for uh, a, um, a move up to 85.50 and beyond, maybe up to 88 back at the highs. And if nothing else, here's how you can use this, this uh, ETF. Say you set an alarm at 82.75 and it trips. You can use that as a shortcut to go look at Freeport McNamaran, to look at... Um, Alcoa to look at, you know, all these uh, PPG, you know, God, there's a there's a million tickers in that group that you could look at. But um, uh, birds of a feather flock together. So you're not going to at least I don't think you're going to see, you know, Mosaic, which is a fertilizer company, just go off to the races by itself. What you're going to see is that group move. So if you don't want to alarm, you know, 25 tickers, here's a way that you could get a heads up to go start looking. And that's set an alarm at 82.75. You get that breakout, then you got to sit up taller in your chair on cyclicals. Communication. Nice uptrend. Came back to trend, tagged the 50, and now is above trend. Um, so just in and of itself, it's a long, here's what I want to say about this. This is a cap weighted index. You got Facebook and Google at 44% of the index. Both are reporting next week. If you wanted to take a bullish, a cheap bullish view on Facebook and Google, what you could do is you know, go out in August, get an 82 call, get an 83 call, you know, something affordable. And maybe you get that moonshot with Google. Maybe you get a moonshot with Facebook. Now it's up 12 bucks today, so it's, it's going to be, you know, XLC is going to, uh, respond today, but go take a look at the option prices of trying to trying to finesse a Google a Google long with earnings next week. I think you got to get out of that. You know, I'm not willing. I'm I'm not an options. I don't play options, but I don't play options directly. What I would be interested in is if you have a bullish view on the market. And you have a bullish view on Facebook and Google and want to participate in a potential move to the upside, 
You could go out a month. You could go out to September. I mean, you could do whatever you want, you know, as far out in time. I wouldn't get something for next Friday in this because then you're you're just looking at, you know, a, a binary trade. I would rather look at something, you know, out in August, say it like an 83 or an 84, take a cheap shot. And then if you get the moon shot, great. If you get a hesitation or even a pullback, there'll be time for it to buy it up. So I wouldn't go out there with, you know, some kind of massive position. But like I said, if you wanted to participate, that would be a way to do it. And that's simply because of this uh, waiting in Facebook and Google and XLC. Uh, XLE Energy is another one of these cyclical sectors. Now you had a pullback into the 200 here um, early in the week. You know, if you bought that, great, you're in good shape. I'm going to take the same approach that I discussed in materials. I don't care. I don't care to get long below, below the 50 and below the 20 and below this big uh, volume over resistance bar. I'm going to alarm 5150, which is uh, uh, right at the right at the 50 EMA, and if if uh, if price can prove it, and that alarm fires, um, then it's a place to look. Remember that XLE, I don't have it here, but is like 30, 35 percent. Uh, Chevron and Exxon. So you're basically lo looking at two super majors controlling that index. And if you wanted to, you could take that idea and look at XOP. I should have done that. I'll, I'll, I will do that in a future video. But XOP is more of a direct play on, on the smaller uh, drillers and exploration companies, uh, which would get you away from Exxon and, and Chevron as drivers. But for this uh, ETF, I would set yourself an alarm at 5150. And you can go ahead and set yourself an alarm at 47 at the 200 uh, if the world ends and energy loses the 200. Then there's probably more downside. So you want to be aware of that. So those would be the locations I would set my alarms. And here, uh, here's financials. Uh, really interesting setup. I'll tell you why. I would set an alarm right here at 36.75. If rates go up from here, that should be beneficial to the banks. And you've got a massive, massive um, uh, moving average compression here where you've got the 8, the 20, and the 50 all clustered together. That can be a very, very explosive setup because uh, because not only one, because of the compression, but that thing breaks to the upside. You're going to have all those moving averages plus lateral uh, support beneath price. And once you get that, you should get, you know, not only one, an explosive move, but a durable move. So uh, I think that is something that you uh, really want to alarm in your system here at 36.75 on financials. Uh, while we're while we're at it below, not interested in uh, not interested in getting long, and I'm not interested in getting short because uh, these interest rates have been so volatile. You know, just about the time you get long. They pull the rug on rates and, you know, financials do a gap down like they did here of 4%. I don't want to, I don't want to get in on that. I want to, I want to wait. And if interest rates break higher, TLT breaks lower, financials break out here, then I'm willing to uh, take that risk. And just like we talked about on materials, just because you set an alarm here on XLF doesn't mean you got to take that trade. 
You could look to find, you know, is it JP Morgan? Is it regional banks? You could look at KRE and set the same, same type of alarm there. Um, so then you can use that as a flag to drill down if you're a type of a guy that wants to take individual names. But if not, if you want to play the majors, this is a great way to do it. You can get long against 3675 and look for a move. I mean, actually, to, to take out these highs up here at 3850. So I like that trade. Um, same thing with industrials. 104, set yourself an alarm. If the cyclicals crank up, you're going to take out 104 and you're going to go to all time highs on industrials. But until that happens, I mean, if you got uh, here was that moving average compression and it broke above. So this may be poised to break out here. And if you got a break above 104, uh, I would take that long. And you notice that all the cyclical sectors materials, energy, financials, industrials are poised right below resistance. I mean, they're right there. And if there's an interest rate pop or interest rates start to trend higher, you're going to see all these alarms go off at the same time, which will be a, a green light for us to jump into cyclicals in a, uh, in a substantial way and try to ride that interest rate rise and that cyclical upturn uh, for all it's worth. Uh, XLK technology. Uh, I have drawn a resistance line here at the all time highs. If you wanted to, uh, you know, take a view on XLK, once you got the breakout here above 153, you can take it long. Um, if you don't want to pick individual names, you know, we've been mostly focused on Fang, Fat Man, and some of the other individual names. But if you didn't want to worry about that, if you wanted to just say, okay, uh, I want to get long ahead of uh, earnings on all those names, you can get, you know, you can get some calls out here at 154, 155, 156 in August and say that the train's going to keep on rolling and um, but I don't want to I don't want to take shots at individual names so that would be a way to do it. Um, I've got staples here but that's really not my thing. Um, I mean if you're in staples you're in it for the dividend I would think and that's really not my thing. <clears throat> I mean for four months we've you know toggled three dollars that's not really um not really my thing so but if it is i mean you're right here at the highs you can mark it and then see if you get a breakout uh xlv has been our thing because we bought this breakout here at uh, 125 and if my memory serves me correctly we rolled up uh after some of this move and now we're breaking all time highs. I'm still in it. I'm at, uh, I'm in August one thirties. Uh, so I mean, this continues to work. It's riding the eight day. Um, so I think, uh, you know, healthcare is a nice blend of defensiveness and, um, you know, it, it's, it's a nice blend. I mean, it's, it's trending higher when there was the turbulence on Monday, I mean, it, it hardly missed a beat. So, I mean, I like that. It's kind of like a stabilizer in the portfolio that you're not getting these wild, you know, wild swings in either direction. You're not going to get rich on it, but um, it is grinding higher. And for that reason, I like it. Uh, XLY. <clears throat> we had gotten it here at 173. Uh, we had rolled up uh, in this area to uh, 180s. And uh, <clears throat> to be frank with you, uh, I got trapped and then I got stopped. And now it's rebounded. I'm not in it. Uh, 
if I'd have been paying attention, you know, on the reclaim of this trend line, on the reclaim of 180 would be a place to get long. Now, just, you know, that's water under the bridge. But now you can be long against 180. And I would tell you the same thing that I told you back on XLC. You got Amazon at 24% of this index. What if you wanted to take a cheap shot at an Amazon moonshot, but you didn't want to, you didn't want to do it directly in Amazon. You could do it uh, in XLY. Uh, and also, I mean, look at McDonald's, look at Starbucks. Uh, oh my God. Look at, look at uh, apparel companies. Back to school is going to be massive. Um, you got a lot of, a lot of companies reporting, you know, all the restaurants are yet to go. All the, you know, all the apparel, all the, uh, I mean, it's just such a big, big category. And uh, with Amazon being 24% of it, if you take a view that this earnings season is going to resolve bullishly and that Amazon has the potential to do a moonshot, you could get something, you know, just a little out of the money and, you know, get yourself a cheap shot into August or September and say, uh, you know what, I'm going to get, I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to get long out in time. I'm going to take a cheap shot. If, if we pull back to trend, that's fine. If we lose trend and I was wrong that, you know, Amazon goes down $800 and, you know, everything fails, then you're stopped out below trend and, you know, you took your shot. So uh, I think that's a cheap way to play. Um, I think it's a reasonable way to play. Whether that's your style or what you want to do, you can decide. I'm just offering up an idea for you on um, how you might want to do that. And actually, as I'm, as I'm sitting here right now, uh, I've almost like talked myself into that's something I want to personally do. Because I'm, I'm not in Amazon. I'm not a guy that wants to play uh, those things directly. I am going to be long the queues. Um, but that has a lot more, that's going to have a lot more beta in it and a lot more risk. Because if, you know, if they sell off big cap tech, you know, they sell Microsoft, they sell Apple, Google, Amazon, queues are going to, queues are going to, have a giant red bar. I don't think that's going to be the case with XLY. You're going to get, you know, if they all sell off and, Am, you know, if Amazon sells off, XLY is going to take a hit. But if you're far enough out in time and the rest of discretionary is working, you're not going to, you're not going to feel an absolute ton of pain. So this is a play on discretionary with an Amazon kicker and the kicker will either boost you or hold you back a little bit on an XLY trade. Okay, that was a quick rundown. I think these spider ETFs are good barometers for sectors that you can alarm and then you can decide whether you want to play the basket or you want to drill down into individual names because uh, I know this is true. Birds of a feather flock together. And when once you get, you know, if you get financials, industrials, energy, materials working, that's going to be a big green light for cyclicals. And then if you want to play individual names, so be it. If you want to play baskets, it's there for you as well. Hope the analysis helped. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and the alarm bell. I will do my best to keep you posted with actionable content. Jump over to the show notes. You can register for all my information uh, by giving me your email address. Uh, and by the way, I never sell that. I never do anything with it. Um, so that's simply a way for me to communicate and get you my information morning, noon, and night so you don't miss a beat. And you'll also get an invitation to our trading room, which is growing, and uh, I think you would enjoy it. Uh, whether you have a job uh, that you can just pop in at any time 
and scan for ideas. There's a ton of resources posted. A lot of it's subscription content that um, you can get for free. Uh, we'd, we'd be glad to have you. And of course, longtime listeners, I really appreciate your support and you hanging with me. This has been Chris Buss with Traders Profit Compass. Have a good day of trading and a nice weekend. Talk to you next time.